नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एफ टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द सिक्स क्वेश्चन विच इज़ फ्रॉम ग्रेविटेशन लेट इस रीड द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट द एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू अर्थ्स ग्रेविटी ऑन अ पॉइंट पार्टिकल एट अ हाइट एच अबव द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ इज डिनोटेड बाय जी नॉट ऑफ एच और जी ओ एच एंड एट अ डेप्थ डी at a depth d below the surface of the earth is denoted by gid consider the earth to be a sphere of radius r with uniform mass density which of the following correctly represents the ratio gid divided by god so here they are uh, using d as h for uh, for finding the acceleration due to gravity at a height h above the surface of the earth so h and d here are synonyms okay all right and we have four uh, options and uh, because the depth from the surface of the of, from the surface of the earth it cannot be greater than the radius of the earth itself earth being spherical we can see that the maximum that this graph can go horizontally is only at d upon r and also at the surface of the earth the ratio is has to be one because both h and d they become zero so one and one they are the intercepts of the uh, graph at least in the given interval of uh, values acha now how are we going to solve this problem the problem is uh, simple but there is one thing that i would like you to take a note of before we start actually solving okay first thing is obviously we must know the formulae otherwise we can derive them but the derivation will take some time so let me directly write down the formula g i d ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू अज्यूम दैट जी इज अवर एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी एट द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ सो जी आई डी इज जी इन टू ब्रैकेट वन माइनस डी अपॉन आर ओके दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला एंड जी ओ एच ओके नाउ वी आर आउटसाइड द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ इन द एटमोसफेयर और इन द स्पेस अब ऑफ द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ ओके सो हाउ डज दैट एक्सेलरेशन वैरी when compared to the one at the surface it's g into 1 plus okay g into 1 plus h upon r raised to negative okay now quite often quite often in calculating this acceleration due to gravity at i touch we approximate this using uh, the linear approximation of the binomial expansion of a plus b raised to negative 2 and we approximate this as 1 minus 2h upon r but we don't intend to do that here okay we do not do this otherwise we will not get the right answer we do not approximate here okay please note that in this problem here means in this problem we are not going to approximate so we will not be using this we will be using the actual expression acha so we we are, have been now asked to calculate the Uh, variation of the ratio GID to GOD against D upon R. Okay, so I'm going to make one change now. I'm going to call D by R as x, our more conventional variable, D by R as x. Okay, so if I now take the ratio GID upon GOD, this G and this G they will go. So we will get one minus uh, D upon R upon one plus D upon R raised to negative okay understand that we have now replaced this h by d okay well we know that that is not going to make any difference because after all that is what we want to find okay in the problem they have said g i at d upon g o at d okay but understand that one is above the surface of the earth and the other one is below okay so what will this be 1 minus x upon 1 plus x raised to negative 2 in other words it will be 1 minus x into x plus 1 the whole square okay 1 minus x upon 1 plus x raised to negative 2 so when it goes to the numerator it becomes positive okay so we'll now get a cubic polynomial okay we will now get a cubic polynomial when we expand this and uh, we can identify which one of the four curves here correctly represents the variation by calculus okay how let us call our function as f of x 
let us call our function as f of x it will be x plus 1 the whole squared into uh, 1 minus x okay uh, first thing that we are going to do is we are going to find the derivative of this function okay let us first simplify this x plus 1 bracket squared so its expansion will be x squared plus 2x plus 1 into 1 minus x so how much will this be it will be x squared plus 2x minus 1 minus x cubed minus 2x squared uh, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x okay so how much will it be negative x cubed minus 2 plus 1 so minus 1 so minus x squared plus 2x minus x so plus 2 uh, plus 1 sorry plus 1 plus 2x minus x is yeah plus x and then minus 1 let's take the derivative now so that will be negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 and then this is 0 let us equate the derivative to 0 okay now see when we equate the derivative to 0 we are allowed to multiply both sides by negative 1 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 so we can now split the middle term into uh, plus 3x and negative x 3x common x plus 1 minus 1 common x plus 1 so this uh, leaves us with two roots which are the two roots x plus 1 equal to 0 gives us x as negative 1 and 3x minus 1 equal to 0 gives us x as 1 upon 3 okay x as 1 upon 3 now let us calculate the second derivative okay now don't use don't use this expression for a second derivative okay well quite often we uh, are more familiar with quadratic expressions whose first term has a positive coefficient that is x squared but don't please don't do that okay this is our correct expression for f dash of x so use it to calculate f double dash of x that is going to be negative 6x minus 2 okay now observe that observe that in these uh, four options between 0 and 1 between 0 and 1 we have got two peaks here one is here and the other one is here okay the other one is here now this peak is somewhere in between 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 and this peak is somewhere or close to 0.5 or it might very well be 0.5 so we can say we have actually got the answer and that answer is 1 upon 3 okay x is equal to 1 upon 3 but we would still like to show that this is there is a local minimum uh, sorry local maximum at x equal to 1 upon 3 by considering the second derivative which is negative 6x by 2 okay fine so uh, is the second derivative negative at 1 upon 3 yes at 1 upon 3 second derivative will be negative 6 into 1 upon 3 negative 2 negative 2 minus 2 negative 4 so local maximum and at negative 1 or what are we getting are we getting a local minimum there yes at negative 1 if you substitute x as negative 1 here then negative 6 into negative 1 positive 6 6 minus 2 4 so at 1 second derivative is positive so local minimum so that is not right okay so x equal to 1 upon 3 is the right option and because it is to the left of 0.5 the correct variation showing curve here will be the one here okay if it is option c that is the right option and now what we are going to do is we are going to plot this function x plus 1 bracket squared into 1 minus x on desmos and see whether negative 1 is also a local extreme value okay now see being a cubic polynomial okay being a cubic polynomial we know and and having this negative sign okay we can uh, kind of estimate the shape of the curve because it is negative x cube okay horizontally to the left the curve will be something like this and to the right it will be something like this because see when x tends to positive infinity negative x cube which is the dominating power it is going to negative infinity okay uh, see now because we have got minimum at negative 1 uh, the possible curve will be something like this 
okay so it's a negative one here and this will be one upon three well let's let's figure it out okay x plus one bracket squared into one minus x x plus one bracket squared into one minus x yes so uh, we've got it okay at negative one there is a local minimum and uh, the value itself is zero and uh, 0.333 that is 1 upon 3 that's the max value so if we just take the portion of the curve when x lies between 0 and 1 then you can very clearly see that at x equal to 1 upon 3 the function peaks and hence our description qualitative description of the graph is right okay so that was question 6